When we talk about renewable energy, solar, wind, geothermal power come to mind. But there's one form of sustainable energy that we seldom discuss. I'm talking about tidal energy, the power generated by harnessing tidal streams or tides. And one island near Bicol is set to become its first beneficiary. The Philippines is surrounded by water, home to one of the richest marine biodiversity sites in the world. From where our fishermen reap their bountiful harvest that feed countless families and help sustain the economy. But with today's technology, this limitless source of food and livelihood may just become one of the country's main providers of unlimited renewable power. It's called tidal energy. We can harness energy from the oceans, and there are a lot of ways we can harness it. Via wave, via ocean thermal energy, or what we have now is what we call tidal in-stream energy conversion, or TSEC. Thanks to the collaboration of two companies, the first ever tidal power plant in the country would soon reach our shores. So what makes tidal power reliable? One word, predictability. The movement of the sun and the moon do not deviate. So you can predict exactly how your tides will flow and how strong they will be flowing tomorrow to the next 18 years. And that, that's the huge advantage over any renewable energy source. In terms of technology, tidal energy traditionally lags behind solar power and wind energy generation. But the tide may now be turning in its favor. With recent developments in the field, sites with lower than optimum tide flow velocities can now be used to create electricity, significantly increasing potential sites. The kinetic energy of tidal streams is transformed into mechanical energy by the turbines. A generator inside each turbine would then transform the mechanical energy into electrical energy. The electricity produced would course through a submarine cable to substations on land and eventually distributed to consumers. In the proposed plant, each turbine is 15 meters long. The beneficiaries would be communities in the island of Kapol, Northern Samar. Capo is short for Acapulco, commemorating its importance in the Manila-Acapulco galleon trade of the 1600s. Today, Capo relies solely on diesel generators to provide electricity to 60% of the island's power needs for only 8 hours a day. So now we know what resource we have there and we got Sabela on board. Sabella comes in with its extensive technical expertise and they, we will be deciding what kind of turbine and where exactly we will be placing it in San Bernardino. The San Bernardino Strait is the gap that separates the Bicol landmass and the island of Samar. And if there's one place in the eastern part of the country where the tidal flow is greatest, it would be here. Unfortunately, it is also where all manner of marine life enters our waters from the Pacific Ocean. These include the biggest fish in the world, the whale shark or the butanding. San Bernardino Strait is isang makipot siya na waterways. So dito, kung saan pumapasok din yung mga nutrients, kung saan malakas yung current, nandun din yung reach. Nutrients. Importante talaga na ma-map out natin kung saan doon yung critical areas, kung saan nagpa-pass through yung mga marine species natin like whale sharks, mga stingrays. BFAR would closely monitor the project. I do believe no, uh, that uh, fish right now is more expensive than gold, uh, so to speak. No? Kaya ang kailangan siguro natin, toro, a comprehensive study on the impact of this on the environment. The technology is harmless uh, to the marine life, uh, so 
it was tested in France, which is quite a sensitive species. And uh, uh, from what we saw with the monitoring equipment, there is no impact on uh, the marine uh, fauna and flora. The tidal power plant will be built with the latest high technology center, which would accurately monitor relevant data from the turbines. So, can you imagine if we can tap these resources? And considering the Philippines is an archipelago, nababalo tayo ng tubig. Definitely, development, deployment ng ocean energy technologies will be a game changer, not only today, but definitely in the future. Technology can bring people together to have fun, as we have seen with Tripcada, or bring sustainable power to a remote island. But change doesn't have to come in the guise of technology. Meaningful change can be achieved through the simple act of teaching values to the young, changing lives. Game Changer would like to thank Before we go, remember, anything, any idea, anybody can be a game changer. Are you? next week on Game Changer. A digital ads war rages on everywhere. And a rising Filipino ad company is right in the thick of it. And featuring our young indie filmmakers. Can the future of Philippine cinema usher in another golden age?